Yunitsky String Transport and the Skyway Project started to be talked about on the internet in 2014. Opinions varied. Some spoke enthusiastically about the transport of the future, while others spoke the exact opposite. The time was passing, the project was developing, and the construction was underway in Mariana Gorka. The string transport was becoming a reality and was attracting more and more attention. And then, ambiguous articles started to appear. For example, a publication by the Belarusian website Onliner in September 2016 prompted engineer Yunitsky to sue for defending his honor and dignity. The article which appeared on this portal defamed him as the head of Skyway and questioned the legitimacy of the company. The court dismissed the suit, saying it was just a personal opinion of the Onliner journalist, his point of view, to which he was entitled. David Hilbert once said, Every person has some horizon of views. When it narrows and becomes infinitesimal, it becomes a point. Then the person says, this is my point of view. Either from the infinitesimal horizon of views, or from the fact that Belarus has no legislation that directly regulates blogging activities and punishes for defamation, such publications on onliner.by and tut.by continued. On the 23rd of May 2019, Yunitsky wrote an open letter to Lukashenko, President of the Republic of Belarus. The letter said that for the past three years, onliner.by and tut.by had periodically published insulting and slanderous articles, the point of which was that Skyway was a financial permit scheme and its creator was a fraud. Who benefits from it? Who is behind it? And why aren't the perpetrators held accountable? These are the reasonable questions with which the author of the letter addressed to the highest official of the state. Yunitsky has never questioned that all these publications were written to order, and he spoke openly about this in court. There has always been a market for made-to-order publications aimed at destroying the reputation of a private individual or a corporation. In journalistic slang, such publications are known as puffbees fodder. Such materials do not meet the basic requirements for journalistic material, objectivity, reliability, and usually stitch for someone's benefit. But do you know what the worst thing is? It is the enormous impact on the audience. Unfortunately, the majority of today's internet users are not able to distinguish fake news and the resources that published it from real news and quite willingly believe in what is written. Incidentally, at the trial in 2016, among other things, the defendant claimed that foreign media did not write about Skyway or its participation in exhibitions. That was not the case. The autumn of 2016 was truly a harvest year for Skyway. The first prototypes of the rolling stock presented at three international exhibitions made even hardened skeptics cast aside their doubts. Skyway was already being talked about and written about as an innovation that made itself known from the high rostrum at Inner Trans 2016 in Berlin. Time flies fast, and there is year 2022 outside. The company which came out as Skyway in 2014 has become a holding company and after rebranding was named as Unitsky String Technologies Inc. What happened to onliner.by and tut.by in the meantime? Hardly anybody cares. Maybe they still specialize in throwing in unreliable information. The market of puff piece fodder was not established yesterday and will not die tomorrow. It feeds hundreds of journalists and PR people. Let us have a look at what and who writes and talks about Unitsky String Technologies Inc. Is it interesting to foreign media? Let us pay attention to recent publications by serious, accredited media that operate within the framework defined by law and these rules. A very interesting article by Jennifer Zensiba analyzing the potential of the string technology has been published on cleantechnica.com, USA the world's number first website specializing in analytics, renewable energy, electric vehicles, and other clean technologies. There is a lot of interest in the string transport in Southeast Asia, particularly in Vietnam.
the founder and general designer of Unitsky String Technologies Inc., Anatoly Unitsky, appeared on the cover of the Vietnamese magazine Sang Tao. The article details the company's technologies and UST transport capabilities. The Russian journal Transport Strategy 21st Century has published a large article Unitsky String Technologies Transport Complexes Solve Airport Hub Problems. On the example of the Moscow Air Hub, consisting of six airports, the author describes the effectiveness of the string transport system, its capabilities and advantages over competitors. Construction Week Journal, which specializes in reporting on innovations and construction projects in the Middle East region, has published a major article on the string transport project. In an interview with a representative of the Innovation Center, UST Inc., of the company developer of the string transport technologies, in Sharjah, it has talked about potential customers, tracks under construction, and new models of rolling stock expected in the UAE. The article highlights that the string technology is primarily aimed at those countries where population growth creates a natural demand for transport. These are regions such as Africa, Middle East, Asia, India, and Pakistan. The USD transport technology is in demand all over the planet. It is of interest to people and companies, and of interest primarily because it solves the major problem of our time, traffic congestion. That is probably why there has been a wave of broadcasts on TV all over the world. Here is what news agencies were saying about the new breakthrough technology. KZTV USA A Sky News Australia broadcaster described the USD transport as high-tech and safe. No road at all, but more of an elevated track. That is, if the company used Sky Transport... Journalists from French TV channel France 2 showed the research center in Sharjah and talked about the advantages of the transport. Suspendu à des câbles, ces cabines sont capables de se déplacer d'une station à l'autre. Major US TV channel ABC, whose programs have become an integral part of the country's pop culture, informed when the string transport could start transporting its first passengers. Last month, the company opened a more than 1,300 foot test line. We will come back to the TV reports, but here are a few more examples of media coverage. In particular, the author writes, At one time, some media, initially critical of everything new, reproached the company for the lack of string vehicle models that could be tested. However, it soon not only presented 12 fundamentally different models of rail electric vehicles on steel wheels, but also built two testing centers in Belarus and the UAE, where the vehicles could be tested in action. The International Independent Organization TUV SW Standardization Certification has confirmed the safety of the urban test facility in the United Arab Emirates. A publication of the English specialist media resource Railway Technology describes how the string transport can improve urban and suburban logistics. The string transport has also come under the spotlight in the Brazilian media. The news portal Agora MS published an article which talked about the string transport infrastructure solutions. In particular, it reported on the visit of the leadership of the Brazilian city of Dourados to the string transport center located in Sharjah. The journal Reinforcing Technology and Codings has published a scientific article on the string transport. The publication details the design of non-standard research equipment as well as the unique technology for assessing the properties of materials and coatings, which will further enable the successful assessment of the physical, mechanical and protective decorative properties of the string transport rolling stock. According to the author of the research paper, the development of a unique program for the selection of adhesive joints is an important step that will speed up production processes and add to the company's collection of innovative developments. The Transport Advancement Media Resource has published an article about the string transport, which is gaining increasing interest from the world community. According to the author, the results of the developer refute the claims of some critics, some of whom have even radically changed their opinion and are now convinced of the string technology's perspectives. There is probably no place on the planet by now where the string transport hasn't been heard of. According to the words of Anatoly Yunitsky, the creator of this transport, if you close your eyes and point your finger at the world map, you will end up at the place where there are transport problems.
a Canadian CGTC TV presenter, talked about a unique opportunity to solve the traffic congestion problem. Track. U Sky Transport has come up with a unique way to solve traffic congestion with a network of driverless. CBS, the U.S. media holding company, which includes television and radio broadcasting, publishing, and advertising, and whose products focus primarily on the U.S., also ran a story on the string transport. Track. The test pods can carry up to four people in what's designed to feel like a first class airline suite. The, the media is a special field of human activity that plays a crucial role in the life of modern civilization. In terms of definitions, specialists in sociology classify the media as a social institution. In democracies, the mass media are regarded as the fourth power. In startups, everything is built on trust because there is no product, no sales, and no meaningful indicators yet. And to make it work, investors, employees, partners, journalists, and customers are simply to trust the startup. Only the boldest and most daring ideas have a chance of recognition. Unitsky's Train Technologies has achieved this recognition all over the world. We have introduced you to just a small part of the publications about Unitsky's breakthrough transport technology. The most significant publications are published by the company developer on its official website, and they are publicly available.